welcome back to my channel it's been too long too long since i filmed i think my last video was from my prom i think i think it's my prom i think it's the pink princess the pink princess makeup tutorial i did on my best friend i think that's the last video i posted so i'm sorry it's been a long time but I have been really stressing out because it was my it was my senior year, so I had a lot of homework to do and get it things get things done before I graduated. I'm now graduated, thank God. So yeah, I'm done with high school, which is kind of sad, but now we're moving into college. Today's video is all about my full coverage glam foundation routine and this is the routine i use when i go to a wedding this is a actually the same routine i use for my prom which lasted all night honey i was dancing around and having fun with my friends and it lasted the whole night i showed you some tricks i use for if you're kind of a sweaty gal because i sweat and i dance too much but yeah you guys like this video and let's get on to the video so i'll be taking my moisturizer this is by avino um and i'll just apply it to my face so i have a little bit of moisture i tend to have um normal skin but sometimes i do get a little bit of dry patches on my face mostly on winter because I don't feel oily. I feel normal. I do, there are some areas where they are tend to be more dry or more oily. So it's normal to combination kind of skin. Products do work on me. Whether they whether they're for dry skin or oily skin. I take this down my neck. For primer, it depends on what foundation I'm going to wear that day. Because we're doing this full coverage foundation, I do tend to wear this one by Hourglass. I have the sample size, but it's the only one I wear when I go out. For me, this uh, primer does make my makeup, my more full coverage uh, foundation look better than my, than my Too Faced Hangover one. So this one I got from Sephora, a uh, sample size, and it's it's expensive. It is expensive, but I think it's such an amazing primer. So what I'll do is apply it to my cheeks. I like to concentrate more on the center of my face, just so it mattifies it more because that's where my foundation tends to my foundation tends to move. I don't know why. Now that we have our primer on, I'll be taking the foundation I wear when I go out. The foundation I'm going to use is a Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. It's a two-in-one foundation plus concealer in the color 01 Creamy Vanilla. I use this foundation when I know I have to go out and look my best, and I know it has to stay for the longest time and also I need it to be more heavy coverage. I am i don't think I need a lot of coverage. My skin tends to be pretty normal, not many breakouts and that kind of stuff but sometimes I want to look more like porcelain kind of skin and this foundation does it amazing. So what I do is on my little plate just uh, one pump because this foundation a little goes a long way so just one pump for this foundation only I love to use brushes uh, my favorite one currently is Morphe Y6 and I don't know why I've never tried it I have tried this brush with my I tried this one with my L'Oreal True Match but it doesn't look the same I think this brush is amazing or Full coverage so 
Let me take a little bit of my brush and go like tapping motions. If you have more of a pink undertone, this foundation tends to be more of a yellow undertone, so that's what I like. Because I have more of a yellow undertone than a pink. So you can see a little bit cover like a little bit did cover my whole, this whole entire part of my face. I do go over with a damp sponge just to make it look more flat. I normally use one or one and a half pump when I do use this foundation just because there is sometimes I don't think the cover is my retinas here so I do go back or if I did my whole like this part of my face but there's not enough for my forehead so that's when I use the other half pump. As I said, I do still have a little bit, but I know it's not going to cover my entire forehead, so this I'll just do. Half a bump. There we go. And apply it. I do go like this a lot, so I don't get as much product in the brush. And if I'm looking over here, I have my mirror. As you can see, did cover. I did my eyebrows before I do my foundation. That's how I normally do my makeup. I do eyebrows first, then my eyes, and then my face foundation. Most people I know, most YouTubers here, do start with their foundation, but I don't know. I do feel kind of weird if I don't have something in my eyes. But everyone has their own way of doing it. If it's a more, um, if I'm not worrying as much on my eyes, I do start with my face. But for this example, I I didn't want any glitter like falling to my foundation and not being able to remove it. So now that we're done with the face, I just go over and blend it up down here, my ear. Them, because like, we don't want that foundation like okay. I love this foundation. I, to me this foundation looks natural but at the same time it's like high like really high coverage. It's going over with a beauty blender and try and make it more flawless. Okay, now I'm going to take my favorite concealer of all time. This is a Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Neutral. This concealer, I know many people apply a lot, but really you just need a little bit because it's so high coverage, so and you're wasting product, so I just go here, concentrate really wonderful. There. I mean, you think this is a lot, but to me, I'll just blend out with a beauty blender. Foundation and concealer go perfectly with each other because there are times when your foundation and concealer just like don't get along. But these two do work together. That's what I was trying to say. Most concealers or foundations sometimes don't work together. When I'm doing my makeup, I like to um, use different sponges because this sponge is too big here, so in order for me to get under my eye, I think this is too small for my face, 
and this one is just enough so so I do tend to switch I love this concealer. I do tend to have like not really fat under eyes, but okay. Now that we're done, now we're gonna set. And I do bake when I go out. If I'm going to a wedding um, or any kind of event, I know it has to be long lasting. I do bake. So I'll be taking my Earthman Loose Face Powder and bake where I applied my concealer. So what I'll do, I just take my Beauty Blender. I take a little bit of powder. And I'll do just enough. Start baking. And I love to bake because I do tend to crease under my eyes and I do believe because I do I sweat like I don't know I get easily hot so when I sweat where I start sweating is right here so the baking does really help I'm in time with me you know when you're dancing you stop sweating well I do sweat a lot I do sweat but not as much as if I were not if I didn't bake in my ass I like to bake here on top of my lips because that's another place I do kind of sweat. And my chin. Basically where I bake the most is where my where I tend to sweat a lot. And under my eyes because I crease. But that's where I tend to bake more. And of course those smile lines. You have to bake those smile lines. If you don't Oh, that's one of my pet things. Yep. Now they're okay. Now I'm just slightly gonna make a monos and pull it. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for about five to ten minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back and now we're gonna dust off this baking and what I'll do I take this NYX contour powder um i don't know what it's, it's one of the singles and it's in the color cream i take my elf brush it's a blush brush but i, I like this brush because it, uh, it fits under my eye fits under my perfume so i'll just take a little bit of this and just stick on the chest top as well Also, this banana powder will help to brighten under my eye. Now that we're done doing that, I'm going to set my entire face. To set my entire face, I'll be taking the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium. I'm just taking a real technique brush. Just set my face. I might be saying that's a lot of powder, but because I, as I mentioned before, I sweat a lot, this really helps. Okay, okay, okay. Now that we're done setting, now I'm going to bronze my face, contour, all that fun stuff. So for a bronzer, I'll be taking my Cheek Parade, this is my benefit, in my Hula Light, and I will just bronze up my face just a little bit. I love this brush. This is a Morphe R7. For contour, and I'll be taking the Hula bronzer, the original one, and I'll be taking my Morphe M529 and contour. Okay, now while taking again my nose powder and my beauty blender, I'm going to cut my contour and bake there. 
Well, that's it. Now I'm going to apply my blush. One of my favorite formulas for blushes are the matte ones. So for today, I'll be taking Desert Rose, which is my all-time favorite matte blush, and apply it to my cheeks. Okay, now for my favorite part of makeup, well, of my face makeup, is highlighter. So I'll be using my favorite, my all-time favorite. This is a Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Eclipse. And I will be applying it with a, and I'll be applying it with a Morphe and 510 brush. This is Eclipse. I actually did a video all about the Many MUA and Jeffree Star clap if you want to check it out. We'll link it down below. What I like about this highlighter is that you can build it up the heavy wrist line. You can start very natural or like bring it out like I'm not going to bring it right. Let me see. Okay. I'll be taking some Max Fix Plus and And I'll be taking it again. It's pretty more. Ooh, yes, what are you talking about? I love this hair. It's amazing. Apply a little bit on the tip of my nose, which I love to look at my finger. And the tip as well. So I'll be re removing this baking we are doing. I'll just be taking the brush we applied the powder and just go in the middle. Circle motions. I'll be doing my under eye and my lips off camera and I'll be back to show you the finished look. Now that I'm done with my makeup, what I love to do is go with my MAC my MAC uh, Fix Plus and just spray. Mmm, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So I do this for my foundation just to melt into my skin and look more natural. It is mom. It is mom. Okay. Now we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I want to do a makeup tutorial on this. Look, it is, it is similar to the one I've done before, but it's more of a plummy kind of look with glitter. So comment down below what other types of videos you want to see. I'll link down below my last video. It, it has been a while. It's been a while since I filmed. But now that I'm school free for now, it's, I'm on summer vacation. So you... Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and on Facebook. I'll link them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you. Bye.